I really didn't think I was gonna be making this video this soon, but I'm picking up something today about 30 minutes away. I think you guys are gonna like it. This time we're gonna be taking the 240 because it's my daily. I don't have any other car to drive other than the G. Currently the G sits lower than the 240. Plus I have all the room in the world right now. I mean, look at the interior. It is all out right now because I have a couple leaks of where rain is getting in. I know it looks super ugly in the rear. Although it will serve a purpose today when transporting wheels. Nice. Wow, we are already here. That was not too bad. I can't see this sign anywhere. Oh, JDM. JDM engine bay right there. Where is it? Ready? Let's send it. Hey, not too shabby at all. <laughs> My heart is kind of beating. Like, I'm really excited. Oh, it's right there. Wow. Oh, right at the front door. Baby. Oh my god. Dude. Right there. Yeah, I don't mind a little. Yeah, there's no big truck or anything. Okay, let's take a look at these. These wheels are literally so clean and I cannot pass this up. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, that's a hub. Let's test it out. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> All, right. hey. All the wheels are loaded up. I have the Model 5s in here. Oh my god, they look crazy. I'm gonna have to sit up pretty upright because four wheels in here with big tires is kind of a, a mission. <laughs> oh, it's a full house. Let's go ahead and go check out JDM Engine Bay. There's so many engines here. Oh my god. All right, I'm at JDM Engine Bay and the owner, Dean. He's gonna show me the coolest engine he has here. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, 2JZ. Oh man. So, if someone were to want to buy it right now, how much this would one, you say? $14,500. Oh, $14,000? $14,500. Okay, I did not know these go for that much. What? And this is the only one you have at the moment? Single turbo. Do you know what car this came off? Supra MK4. From Japan. Japan, yeah. Wow. That is crazy. I actually never seen one in real life. I just hear all the talk about it. Yeah, so if you ever want like a 2J or 1J SR20, JDM Engine Bay is like the place to go in the Bay Area. This is my first time here, so maybe I could come back and when I need an engine, I'll get it here. I'd be so happy if I have an SR20 eventually in my car. Super cool place. 
2J and 1J right next to each other. Thanks to Dean, I learned quite a few things about these motors and why people go with them one over the other, you know, all those little things. Now I know a place to get rare and cool stuff for my car. Dean said he got like a Type X bumper and it sold super fast and it was for like 1200. I don't know why someone would buy a bumper for that much, but someone did. This gets me so excited to see what's to come with my 240. But since my 240 only has 64,000 miles, this is not gonna come anytime soon. Like all the rest of my things. I really appreciate Dean's help at JDM Engine Bay. He helped me get the wheels for a decent price and showed me around. Whoa. All those coilovers, what? Jeez. All right, I'm about to leave. Thank you, Dean, again. All right, thank you. Is there any places where they can find you? JDMEngineBay.com. Yeah. That's where I found the wheels, and maybe you could find some too. Woo! This is a San Mateo bridge. It's a long straightaway. I feel like, in my opinion, it's a pretty cool bridge in the Bay Area if you want to drive on it. We're so low to the water, too. I couldn't wait, I'm already at the tire shop getting these big old tires off. Here's what happened, valve stem. This is steel? Or no, this is aluminum. Steel. steel and an aluminum, they start welding together and now we have to get it off somehow. Damn, here it is off the wheel. Yes, we got the valve stem cover off and I don't have to drum wet. Nice. Awesome. Thanks to Matt, I got these tires off at Bay Tires. Hit him up if you need anything. Sit. Loaded up even more than I was before. Here's the thing about putting on tires. You gotta get a person that knows what they're doing. I went to Bay Tires knowing that there's this person I trust there. His name's Matt. <laughs> he did the last two wheels. First two was done by, it looked like a new guy. And unfortunately, the Model 5 suffered some injuries. <laughs> It's all right though, because they're Model 5s and they're old. They can take a beating and they still look really good. I'd say find a person that you really trust and stick with them, even if they aren't at the shop. Just a little pro tip with Tyler. Almost home with my buddy Tyre. It is a bit windy, my hair is such a mess. I really don't think you guys understand how happy I am to have these wheels, tires are already off. They were some fatty ass tires. My God, they look so good. I think what I'm gonna do now is take off the center caps because when I put tires on, they're gonna have to have it off. Also, this is what happened at the tire shop. I don't mind it too much because overall, these wheels are thrashed. It's gonna be my daily, I'm not really gonna care too much about keeping the wheels clean and all of that thank goodness for that <laughs> if that happened when it was brand new new powder coat oh my god i'd be so pissed the reason why i say i don't think you guys will understand why these wheels mean so much i have rc versions of these wheels i am so hyped on these it was pretty hard to find these Imagine how hard it's finding the real wheel, which I found. There are 17 by 10 and nine plus 40 and 45. Most likely gonna need a spacer because the specs are pretty weak. Mm. I'll make it fit though. Safekeeping. So 
Cylinder caps and hardware are all out. <sighs> These things are so beautiful. Whoa. Should we test fit them? Man, these wheels are an upgrade. Some of you may not think that. In my opinion, they're so great. Feels good to finally have one of my dream wheels. One sad thing is I can't put them on my G. Eventually though, I'll find a pair of good spec 18s, but those will probably cost more than what these are all worth. <laughs> Can you see them on the car yet? I could. Oh. Bam! Kind of how it'll look. The gems. Ah, what a great sight to see. I swear the decision to buy these wheels was so difficult. Like, for me, when I make decisions, I'm very skeptical about each side. So I definitely always overthink things. I was. Honestly, about to pass up this offer. Tires are already off, and I ordered new ones. I was really wishy-washy with my decision of tires, too. Like, I switched back and forth to, say, Meteor Stretch. Right now, I'm trying to start committing to my decisions and not looking back. That is a common problem that I have, and maybe some of you guys do, too. Additionally, Bay Tires helped me get the tires off right away. If you guys saw in the last clip, I said that the finished chipping was them. It is actually not. I looked back on the photos and it was already there. So I bought the wheels like that. They didn't do any harm to them at all. Again, it amazes me that I have them in real life right there. This only means one thing though. The 240 wheels are for sale. Work emotion, CR2P. DM me on Instagram if you're interested. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed tagging along with me to get my actual dream wheels. Once they get powder coated though. Like, I really want to get these in silver. I don't know, I love the silver that these come in. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.